Hello, thanks for joining me again. Uh, what you see in the vise is a very simple lure. It's quite easy to tie, but I thought we'd include it in my uh, portfolio, so to speak, because this is the fly that actually spawned the candy floss booby. If you haven't uh, seen how to tie that, it's, it's in the info bar now. And I'll explain about how it came about as we're tying. Let's get into it. <music> So, in the vice is a Hanak Competition H230 Barbless Hook. Now, obviously, when this fly was originated, everyone was using Kamazan's B175s, and it would have been at a size 12. So, and the thread would have been different as well. But I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to start with Vivas today. This is the uh, GSP. It's in 50 denier, and it's just a plain white thread. First thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of, Super glue the shank of the hook just to stop body rotation. And I'm going to start my turns just back from the eye. So the story of this fly, um, is, is, well, it's quite funny now looking back. It wasn't very funny at the time. But we were on Grafham in an army championship and um, I wasn't doing so well. And my friend, Graham, Lump, Graham, Graham Sharp, was actually caning fish, um, left, right and centre. And I, I shouted over to him, as you do, what are you catching on? I'm just going to add the rib now. Um, it's a Vineyards silver wire, number 27. And he said, oh, I'm, I'm catching them on a pink lure. And uh, I got all the colours of pink out the box, as you do, and uh, proceeded to go on, not doing very well. I think I finished with just a couple of fish. But um, Graham was sat on his hands. For, for the longest time and and when we came off the water I made a point of going up and saying show me this fly that you were using and he showed me this and I said well you know where did you get that and he said well I was fishing with Jim Longmore in an AMFC match the week before and he beat me 8-0 and he caught all these fish on this fly on the top dropper so I, I had a good look at it and I, I couldn't he wouldn't give me it because obviously only had one but um, I kind of remembered it. So I tied up a few of these. And then I had the idea that it would work really well in booby form. But I didn't have any of the materials. So what I had to do was um, just mess about with mixing pink and white marabou. And eventually I, I came up with a candy floss booby. And uh, it seems to have gone great guns since. Now I'm using this uh, stuff from Lure Flash. It's double sided, you can see it's gold and silver and I want the silver side. So I'm just going to tie in with the gold facing me. And come back up the shank of the hook. Now this is a fly that even, um, even a complete novice can tie. And I just thought I would I would stick it in with the rest of the lures and stuff because it's something that early season will catch you lots of fish. Mostly a top dropper fly. And uh, it's essential that you fish this on the hang. So every time you retrieve your flies and you're just about to recast, it's just worth pausing and counting in your head Maybe maybe up to 10 seconds, depending on when the fish are coming. And you won't be disappointed with the number of takes you get at that time. So I doubt I'm going to challenge anyone's skills with this fly. But I just thought it would be interesting to add it in. For a bit of nostalgia on my part. So I'm just going to catch that in at the end. Not worried that some of the gold's turned over there. I can sort that out when I add the marabou wing. And then what I'm going to do is bring my silver wire up about an eighth of an inch apart. I 
all the way up to the head. Now I've got quite a big um, area for my head here and there's a reason for that which I'll come on to momentarily. Just keeping tension on my thread as I bend my wire away. And now, so the original fly that Sharpie had, it, it had this marabou which I'd never quite seen before. It was a, it was like a baby pink, but I didn't have that. I had um, sort of a light pink and white, and I blended them together, and that's that's how I come up with the the candy floss. But nowadays, everyone dies to various degrees. You get some really good stuff now. Comp, Comp Candy have uh, sent me some of their marabou and this is, they call it, everyone's got a fancy name, this one's called Pink Lemonade, believe it or not. And uh, I'm just going to take out the packet, usually I would have it out the packet, but I want it just to pick a random feather out the packet, because I just want to show you the quality of this marabou. Um, I've seldom seen quality as good as this, so this is the feather, straight out the packet, I can promise you I've not touched it in any way or doctored it this is how it comes every plume is like this and uh, it's just slightly dyed this baby pink which the camera might not pick up in the harsh light but it, in normal daylight you can see it's just baby pink so I'm going to take a generous thumbnail and Give it a little twist, snip away your waist, and I like to just give it a little lick just to tidy it up. And what I'm going to do is just get a couple of turns in here just to hold it into place. Once I'm, I'm happy that that's secure, I'm going to come in with my thumb and forefinger in my right hand and then just pull the marabou away. I always like to rip the marabou on these kind of flies rather than cut it so you get that much more natural look. Just going to lip, lick the thumb and forefinger in my left hand and slick everything back. Now, the fly that Sharpie had had a, a pink head and you know when he said I'm fishing with a pink fly, this is what he probably meant idiot. Anyway, sorry Sharpie. I'm using a Glow Bright number 2 floss for the head here and as you can see it's a, link, a, a light pink and what I'm going to do is catch on I don't need that much actually save a bit of, bit of floss ok once I've got that in place I can then do a couple of half hitches on my Vivas and get rid of that. Okay, I'm just going to remove the, uh, the tail end of the floss. Excuse my fingers. And then what I can do with this is start building a nice head. And then once I've got the size I want, I can simply, oh, I don't know what happened there. I'm just going to come back and go over it again. It just slipped, but I've got it now. So if you've got a wet finish tool, Now's the time. If you do as I do, just put a half hitch in. And to finish off, you can use a little bit of varnish, or in my case, some UV resin.
once you've got that on I think I've got a wee thing caught in my resin there simply cure it off and there you go now this is a fly I've got to be honest with you I've not had them in my boxes for years because well Fritz has kind of taken over the world certainly on the competition scene um, but it's something I'm going to give a go next year I think uh, or this coming season should I say and I think it will do work just as well I mean flies don't stop working people just stop using them so there we go Jim Longmore's little pinky thanks for watching and if you've not already subscribed please remember to do so and I'll see you all next time if you want to make them up that's how to do it.